uh, hi everyone welcome to this session uh, so today we will solve this uh, interview question and this question can be asked uh, for online assessment as well okay so in this question uh, like we have some uh, like three nmos and one pmos right and they are connected in this fashion and the threshold voltage of the MOSFET is uh, 1 volt, okay. Like we have VTN will be equal to VTP will be equal to 1 volt, right. Now to solve this type of question, we need to know this, this, uh, this analysis, right. Now if this is a NMOS, let's say this is our VG and let's say this is our VX. Then what should be the value of vy so we know that this will be nothing but like we can directly do the pass transistor logic right pass transistor logic but there is one problem okay so so because uh, the, like for pass transistor logic the vx will be equal to vx uh, vy will be equal to the vx right but in this condition we have assumed that the vgs is greater than vtn right but but like to solve like like to solve completely we need to use this conditions okay so let's say this is our vx and this is our vg then what should be the value of vy so vy will be nothing but minimum of minimum of vgs minus vtn comma vx okay so what will like this is two quantities right so the minimum of these two quantities will be our final vy okay and for uh, for pmos what will be the case so for pmos let's say this is our vg let's say this is our vx and let's say this is our vy okay so the for pmos for pmos vy will be nothing but minimum of vsg minus mod of vtp comma vx right we know that and we arrived uh, arrived uh, in this like to this equation from that from 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 here right when vds equal to zero then our id becomes zero and when vgs is less than vtn then our id is zero so we arrived in uh, to this condition from this two uh, like we arrived this conclusion from these two conditions okay so i have i have shown for in mass okay in this case now to to solve this circuit we can see that the this is these three are in mass right and we can assume the every node having a capacitor with initial condition with zero zero volt right initially zero volt okay and uh, and uh, like uh, to solve this circuit we have gg equal to 5 volt here and this is our 5 volt as well so this is a higher potential node so this will be our drain for this for this mosfet right then what should be the value of this a node va so our a node is nothing but the source right now to for pass transistor logic the we can directly say that the va will be 5 volt but is this uh, like uh, the, is this right no right because the minimum of let's say this is our let's say the initial condition was zero right so then what will be our vs value minus vtp a vtn sorry and our let's say vx is our 5 volt here like vd so what should be the value so this is our 0 volt right vs so 5 minus 0 minus 1 comma 5 so this will be our 4 comma 5 then what should what is the minimum of this two this is nothing but 4 right so we cannot make pass transistor logic directly from here because because the mosfet is turning off turning off when the potential va VA reaches to 4 volt. It cannot go to 5 volt. Okay. It cannot go to the 5 volt to charge the capacitor. It whenever the capacitor charges to 4 volt, the MOSFET is turned off. Because then the VGS is less than VTN. When the capacitor is charged to 4 volt, then the VGS becomes less than VTN. So the MOSFET is turned off. So the potential potential at A will be our 4 volt. Right, right. So A is our 4 volt. Now for this case, we can see that this is a diode connected. So this this is our 4 volt and the, this is also a 4 volt. Then what should be the value of 
value of this uh, this uh, vv like the potential at node b so we can see that the drain and source the drain and source is always uh, like like drain and source like this is the higher potential right uh, for, for for this uh, n mos so this voltage must be 4 like this voltage will be 4 or must be less than 4 right now if we like the, again we can see that the initial condition like the capacitor with the initial condition then this is zero right so the vg is 4 volt and vs is 0 volt and our vtn is 1 volt and our vd here is let's say 4 volt so we can see that this will be 3 volt 3 and 4 right then what should be the minimum of this so this will be nothing but 3 volt right so the vb is 3 volt so we can see that for this let's say this is m2 mosfet so for this m2 mosfet uh, the capacitor when the capacitor is charged to 3 volt then the this m2 mosfet is turned off okay it cannot charge the mos like the capacitor cannot charge the capacitor to 4 volt okay then similarly so similarly this voltage will be what will be this voltage so this will be nothing but 2 voltage right like this phenomena will happen in this mosfet as well right so we can directly say that the potential at node c will be 2 volt so we have find that a is 4 volt b is 3 volt c is 2 volt now now this is 2 volt and this is 2 volt right then what is the vsg so our vsg vsg is 0 and this is less than our mod of vtp so this this mosfet is cannot turn on like at at any instant right so what should be the picture so if we if we draw the picture so this is our vc let's say c so this is our open circuit and this, this is our d okay so as the as the pmos is not conducting at any instant we cannot comment the voltage at node d right so this is our node d so we cannot take the d as a zero volt right because we cannot comment right because this is always off so according to me the option the answer will be this option c so our va is 4 volt vb is 3 volt vc is 2 volt and the vd is at high impedance state okay we cannot make vd is zero okay so this will be the correct answer because this mosfet is not conducting okay so this is how you can solve this type of circuit intuitively as well okay so we cannot directly use the pass transistor logic here so this this is our this is our fundamental things okay this is our fundamental things the vy will be the minimum of this vgs minus vtn and vx okay so this is how we can solve this circuit and uh, okay if you like our video you can subscribe our channel and uh, please give your valuable feedbacks thank you